Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bond of Ice Repentance. Today we're going to do a Eden run. Don't need to unlock anything, but I feel like doing an Eden run. Feels like a while since I've done one. So, what we got? Not bad stats and there's a library. And we already have a book, so... Um, could get the bookworm transformation. Um, let's use this now. Hopefully we'll do something. Uh, okay. That's probably the only time I'm going to use Anna's Kiss cookbook. Um, we've got one of the uh, star signs. I can't remember which one that is, but it's piercing shots, which is good. That's a very good start. And we've got Anna's Kiss cookbook, which drops seven bombs in a room, I think. Something like that. And we've got Rainbow Baby, which shoots random familiar tears so this is already looking like a pretty good run dumb damage and we'll go to the library hopefully I can just get these books it won't troll me it didn't troll me And some pretty good books here. Book Shadows would give me a shield for a certain amount of time. It's good, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Monster Manual gives a random familiar for the floor. And Tapestry for Dummies, which is what I'm going to take, which gives you Holding Tears. Very good. And the Bookworm Transformation allows me to shoot two tiers at once every so often so this is a very good start purity I'll carry that around maybe use it on the next floor for the soul heart And we get toothpicks, which is tears and shot speed up. Shot speed isn't great for homing. When they're a bit slower, they have more chance of going a bit back towards the enemy and doing more damage. But with the piercing, it might be good. And we're looking for keys. That's what the agenda is. Absolute useless room. But at least we get it out of it quick enough. Key? No key. Uh, we use purity now for the soul heart, just so we can try and keep the devil room chance. the smart move to do. And I have to be willing to use my Tepity for Dummies a lot more often. It is only a two room charge, so I can use it often enough. Lord. Speed down, but health up. Sure. It is it is two hearts, so I think that might be worth it. I'm a little bit slow, but I'm not too slow, it should be too much of a problem. I did turn the music up, but I think I turned it up a little bit too high, so we'll turn it down just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. This 
This is a problem, boss, for my speed. So, we'll try and keep a good distance because I don't really want to get hit. You've been sold, helps. Another help. Is it worth Devil Rooms this run? Just with how many hearts? What, what do I need to do? I don't need to do anything. Okay, let's check the Devil Room. Not really interested in anything here. Nail's good. But I kind of want to keep Tepity for Dummies. I will have to buy things or use things from the Devil Room at some point just to unlock the item. So maybe I could have done that, but... There's plenty of other times to do it. The Devil Rooms are still an option now. It's not like we've locked in on Angel Rooms. Do this near we got to uh, for dummies. Do I just take that? I don't like it, but I haven't picked it up yet, I don't think. Maybe today's the day. Gonna be so hot. So we got it. Love the soul heart, nice. Sure, we'll take Curse of the Tower. Curse of the Tower is kind of like Anarchist Cookbook, but when I get hit, I will um, drop the bombs like that. And because I get hit twice, it happened. So it can be very dangerous, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Kind of maybe wasn't the best idea. Because I'm probably going to kill myself from it. But. Interesting. If we get a blood donation machine. That'll be pretty cool. Keys. A key. I would like another key for the shop as well. Because I do have the money. Multidimensional baby. If my tears... So it kind of follows on a slight delay of where I am. If my tears go through it, it doubles the tears shot. Um, I think it gives range as well to them. I don't know if it does shot speed. It looks like they're going kind of fast. So maybe it might. Got my key for the shop. Do this room first with my psychic tears because screw scary bones. And it's worth using some bombs here. I got enough. I definitely need more speed because that was a bit scary. Uh, grab you. Put some money in you, I guess. Yeah, sure. Fill that back up because it's nice to have it if I ever want to um, bomb it for money when I'm in something. Less penny. I think I'm going to take that. I think that's if I pick up money, there's a chance for it to drop a soul heart or half a soul heart. So it'd be nice if I found a lot of money. That was 
That's a scary jump. So close. Pop up. Pop up, please. Thank you. Meat, damage, and health up. So, first bit of damage up, which is nice. Health, I'm a little bit too healthy. Kind of becoming a problem. Hopefully there will be a devil room that I like. Because I would like to get some of, rid of some of this. Okay, strength round. Oops. Got just enough keys for me to be happy with this. It's a D5 as well. So that will... It's the forget me now, which puts you back into the floor you were just on. So once I've done this floor, I'll do that and I'll just repeat the floor. So extra items, extra shop. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Again, if I actually got keys. Because I am lacking. Thank you. <laughs> the game does listen to you sometimes, I guess. Oh, there was a black poop. I got confused. I <laughs> didn't know what was happening then. Sure. Polythemus is a pretty big damage, damage up, but a pretty significant tears down as well um, usually if my tears beat an enemy um, they would carry on and do damage to an enemy after it but because I have um, piercing shots that kind of doesn't apply I don't know if they still do the same amount of damage because once they if they did beat an enemy and then they carried on it does decrease the damage a little bit so I don't know how that works with piercing shots maybe it works whoops don't do it jerk I hate you speed for that. Safety pin is an evil up, so a black heart. Uh, range and shot speed up. It's not bad. Okay. So we'll go with Abaddon. Abaddon is an evil up, speed up, and damage up. Um, it takes all your red hearts, but it gives you the equivalent black hearts of how many red hearts you had, and they come back as black hearts. So if I only had the two red hearts, I'd only get two black hearts from it. All my other ones are equivalent to it. It's kind of a risk because I'm pretty low on health now. Well, I could lose a lot of these hearts. But the damage and the speed, more importantly, is very good. I'm back at the speed I was. And this is a nice speed. And we'll redo this floor. So, we can get another item room, another boss item. No, we don't want that. We want to keep this, even though we're hardly seeing any money. Uh, 
uh, yeah, there was nothing else we wanted to do, right? Yeah. Still not fast enough for that, unfortunately. the blessed penny paid out. Paid out twice. Nice. I'm so angry. <laughs> it was a mistake. Um, can I get through this? I think I was close, but I hate this. That wasn't worth it, but oh well. I got enough money for a shop. So that'll be interesting. And we'll go to the shop straight away. No! How could you do this to me? Steam sale though. Okay, I'll tell you that. So, Steam sale. Um, in shops. Or anything that would normally cost money. Well, shops or something like that. Oh, I'm going to take the damage. I want plop. Or pop. Plop. So, pop gives me... Uh, my tears will kind of hover, and if other tears hit into them, they bounce. I don't know how great that's going to be with what I've got, but I don't think I've picked it up yet, so it's at least a new item to be interested in. I'm not really interested in full clearing. Jesus Juice, which is a damage and range up. as well for the hopes of soul heart any kind of opportunity where I can get them I'm gonna try it just because I've put myself in a bit of a situation where I do need the health that's a d6 that's a d6 for the root floor remember that so if I don't if I don't see items I like I can always re-roll so yeah that re-rolls all the items on the floor so if I go into the item room and the item sucks, instead of just picking it up because I have to, or I've, I've been in there so I'm like, oh, I'll just take it. I can re-roll, try and get something a bit more interesting. Thank you for one soul heart. Better than nothing. Oh, 
Where are we? Depths one? Yeah, we'll fight the boss then. Why not? And we'll take a cube of meat. So a cube of meat. Uh, familiar that orbits around me, protects me from projectiles, and does contact damage to anyone that touches it. I could have re-rolled it, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it. I've not seen this room layout before. You know, crawl space, just there. Hey, best friend, not interested. Best friend is a use item that if I use it, it drops a kind of rag doll just on the floor, which attracts um, enemies in the room. And then after a certain amount of time, it blows up. I'm gonna use this now. Use it a little bit late. Didn't have to take that damage. Uh oh. This show me a secret room. It is. Okay. Sure. We don't need that, but good to know. That's key's interesting. But I'm not going to take it. I'll take Buddy in a Box though. Buddy in a Box is fun. Conjoined, that's a bit of a problem. What happened to my tears then? So Conjoined makes it so I shoot um, three tears. Um, so kind of in three directions. Homing will make it really good, but it does slightly reduce my tears and damage as well. The damage is fine. I've got enough damage to not care. But I'm not really doing too well on the tears. So we'll go and we will D6 the floor and then we'll double check crawl space and go in room and shop. I got enough money just for one more thing in the shop. So hopefully it'll be good. Wait, why didn't that... Why didn't that re-roll? Have I just got confused? I'm sure the the four room is it? Yeah. What? I'm very confused. What's this doing? Active power up. Yeah. Um. So what I got in the item room was it's basically the um bomber bomberman bombs. Is it called bomber boy? I can't remember the name. But if I drop, if I place a bomb, which I'll try and find a secret room, or guess where the secret room is, I guess we'll try here. Yeah, um, it does a bit of an extra explosive side to it. Um, so that it explodes more, and that can do some pretty good damage. And I got the car battery in the shop which makes your active item or use item better I don't know how that would work in with the home in maybe the home is just better but it powers them up I don't exactly know how it works I think it just makes the your use item a bit more better with what it does I will take map. So map will show us the 
full floor layout. So when the next floor I go on to, I'll see all of like the spaces, but we won't see end room things. So we won't know which end room does what or has something in it. But at least I'll have a general idea of where we're going. This run is really going very well so far. If I had tears and speed, I'd be very happy. Um, oh, also I got Spider Mod. Um, spider Mod is this, a little spider familiar that um, wanders around the room. If it hits an enemy, it ha it can do an effect on them so it can do poison burn it's something like that and it also shows um, the enemy's health so that's where the health bar on the bottom of them is and shows how much damage I do okay, I don't even need that good to know it's there so I'll remember that for if I need it in the future Did I not mention some other items? Um, I didn't mention Sackboy either. That's why I'm getting the sacks. So Sackboy just increases chance of sacks after you complete a, a room. And sacks are good because it holds... It can have three things in it. So I'm more likely to get pickups. I don't have the speed for this. I'm just going to take the hit. That's also going to be a problem with um, the Bomber Boy. I don't actually want anything, so we'll put money into you. kind of want to get you just a little bit too far. I want to hit this guy for the increased dev room chance, but I don't want to bolt my machine. Unfortunately, I've got to go through this room again. Uh oh. That's. That's horrible. That is the worst. Dang it. I'm messing up. I'm I'm choking. I want that so hot. So bad. Can I get it? It's just about. We got. We got things. We can, we can buy it. Go in this. Okay. Stapler. Is a damage up. I mean, what's not to like about a damage up? I didn't need to go in here. I don't. I was going to say I doubt anything over here, but I haven't been to that room yet, have I? So it hurts. Um, usually I would have the aesthetic of my mouth sewn up. Um, and if I take damage in a room, um, you then get a tears up. I don't think anything else. But yeah, so if I took damage in a room, my, te my tears I would, I would shoot quicker. So I mean, that's good. I am low on tears. I don't really want to get hit though. So hopefully we don't see it, but it's a good thing to have just in case. Just a little bit of extra support. OK, 
Okay, where do we want to go? I guess we'll go up. Not interested. Okay, now we just hunt for the boss room. It's not going to be that close to us. It can't be. Oh, it's my buddy. I was so confused while I was getting lightning. Guess we'll check up here. especially or big rooms like this you definitely just use um, telepathy for dummies because you get double charges for those and on a two room ch charged item it's just worth it you don't lose anything from it so hot thank you and this is where I thought the boss was going to be It's Mr. Fred. Of course it would be. I don't think any other boss can have this room, the two size room layout, other than Mr. Fred. Mom's heel, range up. I mean, range is fine. I think with my tears staying in the room, I think range keeps them from dropping so quickly. So I guess it's useful if that's what it does. I'm pretty sure it is. But I can't say for for sure. I mean, surely the boss can't be up here, right? I mean, I'm going that way. What buddy have I got here? What's this? That's so strange. Oh, this room is not fun. I'll finish this room quickly enough. Let's see what's in here. Nothing we want. I feel Pop's kind of screwing me over in those kind of rooms. This is the boss room. Okay. Kind of surprised by that. And we didn't get the devil room, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we're going up. Oh. 
Can I get away with saying that I'm getting hit a lot just to find the secret rooms? <laughs> okay. Magic Mushroom. Magic Mushroom is an all stats up, apart from a tears up. For some reason it never has been, but... Um, they still say it's an all, tiers, an all stats up. So... It's Red Heart Speed. I actually have some decent speed now. And it's a damage multiplier, which is why I got 15... I think it's a 1.5 damage multiplier. Which is why I got 15 damage up from that. One of you has to have a soul heart. No, you don't want to help me. Oh, this is the boss. I'm always surprised when I find a boss because not always what I'm very good at reading a map. Okay, we're already on the last phase. I don't know what hit me. Don't do it. Because the, the tower is going to be the thing that ruins me. That was a pretty good Isaac fight, though, all things considered. Uh, sure. Rune bag. So uh, I might get a rune after completing a, a rune. Super bandage is a two hearts up. So I had a red heart, two black hearts. And a soul heart, I think. Serpent's Kiss has a chance to shoot poison tears. And Mini Mush, which is a speed, range, and I think a slight size down. Those those are pretty good items. Again, speed is fine now. Like I'm happy with how much speed I have. I am going to full clear in case of item drops. Don't hit me. Dry Baby is nice. So Dry Baby is familiar that um, can block enemy projectiles and once it gets hit a certain amount of time from those projectiles it will do mass damage for a room could be pretty useful could protect me especially in the um, blue baby fight when there's quite a few tears coming around I don't even know what hit me again I was overly confident because I had type of the in that room so I kind of didn't move so granted something could have hit me I saw what hit me there couldn't really escape from it though okay so hot That gave me part of the soul heart, I think. I've lost so much health. Like, this is probably going to be a closer run than I was hoping for. I'm not even interested in any of these cards. Oops. Again, I'm just looking for for secret rooms. That's exactly why I'm taking all of these bad damage. Because I'm finding money and that's giving me soul hearts back. It's all it's all my plan. Okay, 
Okay, I want to get rid of you as quickly as possible. That was a good choice for my um, type of thing. You want to drop your item for the health? You didn't. That's fine. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. The, the clicker. So, that is a use item I will very rarely ever even consider using. Um, as it. Rune Shard. Um, if you use it, it basically changes your character. So, I could change into Blue Baby, uh, Samson. I mean, if I needed um, someone to beat Blue Baby, I mean, sure, maybe that could be somewhat useful. Could be a plan. But I'm not interested... It's not something I'm really interested in changing my character halfway through a run. I'm not even that interested in having the ones that respawn you with something. Like the Onk, which respawns you as Blue Baby. I'm not really interested in that. So I wouldn't want something that's going to just change me randomly as many times as I use it. can do enough damage to myself. I don't need you throwing bombs. Thank you. Okay, almost finished this wall now. Wait, what hit me? Okay. Three hits for this. I mean, I should be fine. I do have dry baby so I could try and find a nice place to stand and just let up uh, protect me but I'm not good with placement and it's fine anyway okay well, that was a fun little run nice and chilled out didn't have to worry about unlocks it's nice to play as Eden every so often and I had a really good start to the run so that definitely helps anyway yeah fun little run no pressure in trying to unlock anything, just having some fun with it and uh, maybe picking up some more items that I normally wouldn't even bother picking up. At least we've got the first tower. I probably will never pick that up again. Just saying, I hate that item. It's one of my least favourite. But that was a fun run and that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.